Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video here on the channel. And I know this is a bit of a late one, but um, they have just released a little hotfix in the version 10.20 update. And it's weird, like, we noticed a gun had come back and was like, what's going on? So we've just looked it up. Yeah, hotfix. Um, we've made a few more changes in game below. They've vaulted combat shotgun. Now, Combat Shotgun has been quite a controversial topic in terms of its range and the damage at range. The damage at range was severely lowered, the range was severely lowered. Clearly not good enough because it's now been vaulted. I don't quite know why for this one. Second one, vaulted Drum Shotgun. Now, I'm not surprised they vaulted this. It wasn't, it wasn't used greatly. Um, I mean, you could get like 50 damage a shot, but then... It's, it, there was no skill involved in it, I don't think. And Proximity Grenade Launcher, which, again, that one's a bit surprised me, but Epic are always trying to keep things fresh, I suppose, so it makes sense. Uh, Unvaulted, Suppressed Assault Rifle, Epic and Legendary. So the Suppressed Scar is back. Um, whether or not people use it is another matter, I suppose. Um, I'm still waiting for the burst to come back. I liked the burst. In fact, to be fair, the update I would like to see is the normal assault rifle gets vaulted completely. Um, all rarities, so grey, green, blue, and then the epic and legendary scar. I want that vaulted and the burst brought back. Just to make people play differently, I think it could change up the meta quite severely. And you never know, it might shake up competitive as well. The automatic sniper was underperforming relative to the other snipers. So they've increased damage from 31 rare to 40 rare, 33 epic to 42 epic, 35 legendary to 44 legendary. Um, so that's an increase of 9 damage per shot, and that's an increase of about 18 damage per headshot. So put it this way, the epic always needed 4 shots uh, minimum to kill someone at 100-100. Now all of them will fall, uh, not even four. it will be three shots on all of them now if you get headshots. So they have buffed it a fair amount. Uh, brutes have lowered the spawn rate in the storms phases three to six. Arena spawn rates chain, uh, do not change. So, um, wait, what? They've lowered the spawn rate. They've increased it in storm phase three. They've increased it in Storm Phase 4. And they've... Oh, they have decreased it in 5 and 6. Peppers. Now, instead of landing uh, lasting 20 seconds, they last 60 seconds. So, Chili Peppers are quite effective now um, as mobility to get out of the desert. Um, that, I think, is quite a good thing to put in. Uh... Retail row is high risk, high reward, but we feel the reward has outweighed the risk. Uh, by reducing the availability of obelisk, ga uh, gaining rare loot will require a little more time investment. So now, instead of having seven obelisks on the map, you can have a maximum of five. And it takes longer for them to respawn. Well, it can take longer than for them to respawn because it's a random amount of time. Um, decrease the chance to drop rocket launchers and launch pads from these obelisks. Um, those adjustments have literally gone straight into the game um they shocked me when i just found a suppressed scar like i say but um yeah they're now straight in the game so hop in and let's see what season 10 is like without combat shotguns uh thanks for watching the video guys and i'll see you all in the next one